They say the eyeball test is a major part of any new product. If that is true the case, this new Echelon Comp pistol with the new Integrally Comp slide should be a banger because this slide looks sexy as hell and it shoots just as good. Let's go range and shoot it. Today we're going to talk about a little brief overview of the Echelon in case you're new to this pistol platform. We'll talk about its overall accuracy, the op multiple opting mounting platform in regards to the plate system or a lack of. It is kind of Springfield's P320 model. And we're going to talk about the elephant in the room, the super cool new upgrade, the sexy new ported slide, or I should say comp slide. And we're going to talk about ports and comps as well. So. Stick around. We are a soft goods manufacturer primarily, but we do offer the Furline holster mods for the Springfield Echelon pistol. So if you are looking to run these on duty, you're a security guard, armed contractor, etc., we do have a 6390 as well as a 6360 level three RDS holsters for the Echelon that fit the Vortex Defender XL other optics as well with the new mounting system that Springfield has on this pistol. So if you are in need of a holster, we do have them on the website at rdrgear.com. So, Echelon Comp. This is a new pistol. I should say, well, part of it's new. If you guys follow, and I'll put a link in the original Echelon video we did, but we've done the original release video, we did a thousand round review, and now we have the new uh, Echelon Comp. Thank you as always to Springfield for supporting the channel. Stephanie, you're awesome. Thank you very much. So let's talk about the slide. I'm gonna give you guys a few bullet points as well in case some of you out there have never seen an Echelon before, which I doubt. It's a very popular pistol and a very well-performing gun. But part of the greatness of the Echelon slide is when you look at the top end here, there's no plate, right? And what's great about that fact is when you look at a uh, optic light, the Defender XL, for example, from Vortex, you see a little recessed sight channel in here. Well, with the new U-notch sights on the Echelon, you have a perfect co-witness on the pistol without changing the factory sights that come on the gun because that notch right here allows you to have a shot all the way through with very little obstruction. And when we do the reverses video, I'll show that to you guys with an SRO compared to uh, probably the Vortex on the pistol. The mounting solution to the Echelon does not require a place as I mentioned. It comes with pins and the pins drop into the slide and they are lug posts that sit on the slide and based on your optic, your posts will go into the according slot and holes for whatever optic you're running. and. The benefit of this is they actually include the screws for your optic and the pins, which is super awesome. So when you get this out the box, there's no QR code to scan. There's no sending in a proof of purchase to get a plate. You're ready to roll out the gate day one. Super awesome option there. This is a Delta Point Pro footprint. I could throw an RMR on there and you'd be good to go. The other great feature when this gun first came out was the aggressive slide design. It's super clean, very functional, very tactile, and that's one of the aesthetics of the slide. And then we get to the, the new thing, all right? This is the second, to my knowledge, factory OEM pistol that is coming integrally compensated. And when I say integrally compensated, because when people say comps normally, you're threading on a compensator. Porting is usually done when you're cutting holes on the slide and the barrel, but this one's a little different. So I think maybe it's marketing, but technically this would be integrally comped versus ported. But some, I'm sure at home, some guys, the YouTube gunsmiths, and if you're out there and you do know, I'll probably call Vinny at Monsoon Tactical and ask him because this is very reminiscent of Vinny's work in the early days of, of slide cutting and porting for the Echelon pistol. He has several variants for that, but this one works very, very well. Um, so you, as I mentioned earlier, you'll see how it is the recess cut on the barrel. It's very wide 
and very well done. Um, it's just almost half, but then when the slide goes forward, it mates up perfectly. I'll show you an example. We've already done a video on this gun, and this is the new Smith & Wesson carry comp. This is the Palmer frame, not the middle frame. And if you guys look at the depth of that cut there, and hopefully Chris will be able to zoom in, um, it's very shallow and it's literally on the front top face of the barrel. So it's only pushing a little bit of gas. When I shot this gun being comped, I did not feel a big benefit. When you shoot this thing comped, you, you know it's, you know you're shooting a compensated pistol. And when we filmed this one, we did do uh, a comparison video. So if you guys watch this one, stick around, you'll see the follow-up video where we compare them head to head. Another feature of the, three, of the Echelon is its 320-ish design. If you guys did not know, it is a polymer frame with a serialized trigger kit or FCU fire control unit. Um, this whole system, they sent this gun with a medium frame, which I'm very pleased. I really do like this one. Uh, I don't remember if my media kit had this one in there or not, but I do like how this one fits in the hand. If you guys notice the grip angle, you've got a very narrow front and a small hump in the back. You do get three plates to replace on the back straps, but um, that is something that really does fit well in the hand. And again, all the controls, magazine release, slide stop, super easy to get to. Everything's very close to the rear of the pistol. So even if you have shorter hands, female hands, etc. you're gonna be very happy with that. Trigger is clean, nothing to write home about, typical Palmer trigger. What I'm excited to see, and I'm assuming they're gonna come out this year at SHOT Show, is the new slides for the like Glock 19-ish and the new frames. Um, that'll be something I think everybody's been waiting on, and with them not being released yet, I'm pretty sure they're coming out at SHOT Show. Magazines, you get one flush fit with a base pad and then one uh, magazine that's already assembled. Keynote in the magazines. They're not, you have to assemble them properly. I've seen a lot of YouTubers out there talk about how the mags exploded because they were installed incorrectly with the base pad and how they lock up. I had the same struggle. When very first day we went to the range, the base pad was moving is they installed the magazine base pad incorrectly. So make sure if you guys buy one of these, you're doing that follow the instructions, jump on YouTube. There's some guys who did videos on it. You'll be able to figure that out. Holsters, there's a ton of accessories out there uh, for the Echelon. Uh, we offer the Safariland RDS holster for this pistol. Uh, there's a ton of companies making EDC holsters for this. Uh, just gotta do your own research. But that's one thing that Springfield did. They did a lot of accessory marketing to make sure there was support for this pistol. And then whether you have the comped gun or the non-comped gun, either way, and it'll benefit as well as if you go to a shorter slide, shorter grip in the future, your original purchase of a holster is going to fit just fine and there's no, no need for another holster. So pretty cool there. My buddy Roger just posted a video, I forget the name of the company, but there's a company making an aluminum frame module for the Echelon. If that was gonna come, you knew it, because it is a modular style pistol. Um, so again, you can check that video out. I think he did a video on it, or it's up on his Instagram or YouTube, either way. But I'm sure we're gonna see more and more accessory companies at SHOT Show with support to the Echelon with different frame modules, lengths, slides, etc. So you might be asking yourself, should I get one, or who does guns for? Um, I can say this, we have a versus video coming uh, that you'll see right after you see this one, uh, where we compare the comp version, the standard model, both. All we changed was optics, and you'll be able to see performance data on both uh, pistols. If you already own the factory model, or the standard, I should say standard non-comped, should you go out and buy another one, or get the new comped? If they're given away on the corner store, sure. Otherwise, I think you're good at what you got. The Echelon is a phenomenal pistol in its own right. But you could also, if you just wanted to have that or you had the, the FOMO, fear of missing out, and the comp is all the rage, reach out to some of the companies, like Monsoon Tactical, for example. Vinny has a lot of data-driven mods that he does on the pistols with the Lucky 7, and I forget the name of the original one, there's a square box in the front. I wanna say it's a Genghis, maybe. But reach out to them, look at their website, look at their Instagram. There's a ton of videos he has on his Instagram channel that show actual shooting with these guns and the reduction of muzzle rise based on the cuts and the comp designs that he's put on these pistols. So again, if you already have one, 
maybe look at getting a aftermarket job done um, or buy more magazines, more ammo. But I think this gun shoots just fine with and without the comp in the hands of a competent shooter. You'll see in the follow-up video when I shoot both guns, same target, same distance, same ammo, only thing I did differently was shoot a different red dot. I'll be able to show you guys some data um, on the accuracy table in regards to that. So you guys, the Echelon Comp, phenomenal pistol. The Comp does work, truly does. Uh, it is a great pistol, not too big for EDC, great for duty, range training. Uh, if you can get your local gun shop, try one, touch one, shoot one. I think you'd be very pleased with this as well. So you guys, that's all I got for you today on the Echelon Comp. This is the newest version of the Echelon from Springfield Armory. As I mentioned, Springfield did send this pistol to the channel for review. Does not sway my opinions, as you guys already know. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you like this content, you made it this far, like, share, subscribe. Until next time, be well. Take care. That's all she has to do. Be a solid six, like guns, golf, and dogs, and bourbon. You have high standards. I said six. True, but a six who likes guns, golf, and dogs is a 10. Did I mention no kids? An 11. Yeah, she probably is in love here in Utah. If I said non-Mormon, she's probably like unobtainable. I might as well try to be dating a supermodel.